Hello, unwandering newbie, and it's uh, time for more Record Keeper. Today, we have the uh, Final Fantasy X-2 event. Introducing Pain, and a, uh, a dress record for Riku, so you can actually round out that whole team. Ten two was an alright game. So yeah. For his first one we can have Riku do the uh stuff because that'll stack with everything else that she does. Wow, that was actually a lot of special dialogue that I was not expecting at all. She casts spells. Let's slow Ormi. Get a little bit of damage on her. And then prep the Bahamut. And of course, again, gives us that nice 30% attack and defense. Oh, perfect! We picked exactly the right character to cast low on. That'll cancel out his haste. Yes, chain spells get introduced in this, and they are fantastic. Hmm. I think we'll just finish people off. Holy shit. Oops. So Maria Strong is extremely powerful. Uh, do not, do not underestimate that good uh, thirty percent boost. So, uh, wave bye bye to the syndicate. so weird after having them as an ultimate boss and that being like ridiculously hard. Yeah, Maria's, uh, Maria's song is what allows for hybrid parties. Like, to ridiculous extents. And that's why I really like it. I almost called it Maria's Shout. That's later, when the Onion Knight gets introduced. For those who don't know, uh, the Onion Knight's Burst Soul Break is the same 30% attack and magic boost, except also gives you haste. Alright, so we're about to get extremely gross. Oh, well that was only a miss. So that means that I might actually be able to, uh... To take care of him. Now here's the weird caveat, I do have to hit him with two weaknesses. Um... Meteor Smash is also really good, yes. And the monk for FF10 is Jet. Alright, let's just give it a nice little tap. With, uh... <laughs> with Thief's Revenge and hopefully not kill it. Hmm. 
Yeah, just, you know, casually doing as much damage <laughs> as a burst command. So we did the fire, we need to hit the ice. And we'll charge up a Val for his insurance. Maria song. I recommend it. Yeah, that's why Jet is actually really good, is because he can equip swords. But he's a monk. So the Flame Dragon uh, will generally start the fight with its Flame Breath, so you're recovering from square one. And you do want to try and debuff it immediately. And get that slow, which I missed. That's unfortunate. The slow is extremely useful because, you know, then the, the Dragon gets about half turns. Also, being a boss with a weakness, uh, it does have about boosted defense. So non-elemental attacks, obviously, they'll, they'll do less damage. Armor break is good for this. Let's turn up the speed a little bit. Luckily, Thief's Revenge is such a fantastic skill that we don't have to worry about that too much. Let's see how much damage Shiva can get us. That was okay. Now I do have a... Oh no, I boosted general damage. I thought I had double cast uh, spell blades on pain. I do not. Fun fact! Uh, I think I had double cast spell blades on pain last fight. Or I might have just had boosted damage. That was also increasing the damage from the Celis break. Because that's how that works. Uh, Celis's break abilities are spell blade attacks. Shout is extremely popular for all the right reasons. I'm actually loving this fight just for the fact that I'm actually getting a uh, getting use out of Shiva. Now, mind you, if Pain wasn't level 50 and was a little bit higher, she would of course be uh probably maxing damage, and I could have a dual cast record material on her instead. But I figured that she would be a bit low, being only level 50. So, better play. Safe rather than sorry. This should be the killing blow.
Oh, right. I was like, why did that miss? Oh, right. I did that thing. Ah, uh, the good shit. Does he taunt that too? I was unaware that he actually taunted the Blast Fist too, if that's true. So that's Meteor Crush. That's a 50% attack increase. It owns. <laughs> All right, let's just sit back and watch how much this full charge does. Hey, give me the good shit. It's okay. I didn't have a defense down on the big guy, that's right. That could be better. It's also just, you know, it is a 5 star, but it's a 50% increase, which is the same as Thief's Revenge. And it does 2 hits of damage. That's a fight. Nice. Yeah, I like Meteor Smash. Oh, <laughs> they had extra dialogue. That's a lot of empty bars. The 
should be recoverable, though. There we go. That's proper protection. And yes, it looks like his HP isn't too bad. Seeing as I only hit him like twice. And we seem to be putting a good dent in him. We'll see how that goes pretty soon. Remember, he does have defense ignoring attacks. That's the big thing to be worried about. It's alright. Really, the things that that uh, sucks is that it's not <laughs> it's not a couple months down the line where we get the really good two-hit uh, monk fire attack. Because that would be like perfect for this fight. Though I seem to have reduced his damage enough. See, the, the thing that I really appreciate about Record Keeper is that they identified that some skill sets were, like, not good at all, and they made the move to correct that. They, like, they admitted, they're like, alright, we, we made a mistake with Mage. Mage has fallen off bad. Here's a way. There we go. Here's a way to to uh, fix that. They gave us like good boosts. And now they're giving us the two hit spells. I probably could have done this with Divine Guardian. You're right. I was worried about his uh. His, uh, his melee. Because he does have a melee. Oh, shit. Well, it wasn't even that mage was dependent on resources. It was that they kept adding uh, physical attacks that hit twice. Or more. So, like... As you saw with, um... Full, uh, full charge, uh, I was able to hit twice, or hit multiple times, and do like four, uh, 20,000 damage. Whereas Mage is there just going, I guess I hit for like this much. Yeah, so he's starting to get mean. Go back, to, go back to using your magic. Please. Like, again, there you go. There's about 16,000, whereas a mage would just hit, and even if they did max damage in this, 10,000, that's it. Uh-oh. This is fine. Alright, come on, Jet. Get him. Except I think your buff wore off. Yeah, it did. Yes. Get him, Barts.
<laughs> Sorry, that animation's really good. But yeah, pretty simple. Yeah, I think a Divine Guardian would have been fine for that. Alright, we got our haste, we got our reflect up, let's do a cast and meltdown. I should technically hold Waka's turn. Alright, there we go. Now that we have everything up properly, we can hit Go weakness crazy. Now, because uh, we haven't actually used the bounce house for a really long time, uh, the thing you have to remember with initiating the bounce house is you do have to target your heals on your actual healer. Um, don't go crazy and just hit the button because your bouncer may get hit and then you won't be able to heal them. Actually, double cast here it might actually be a bit of a liability. I probably shouldn't have brought it. Yeah, Lulu got slowed, which is definitely going to hurt her. Might not be a bad idea to uh, get that second sheep song up. Might also be a good time to start investing in um, Oh boy. Um. This.
So, uh, the length of shell, protect, and reflect and all that are actually a little weird because they're actually dependent on the user's magic stat. Don't go for X death. Oh, that was AoE. Oh. Uh oh. <laughs> yep, see, that could happen. It sucks. It is incredibly tough to manage, you're not wrong. Alright, this should clinch it. Come on, Alexander. Whew. Also, yeah, sorry. Uh, buffs are based off mine, not magic. Anywho, that's it for the uh, the Final Fantasy X event. Uh, next time, I believe we have Final Fantasy VIII, but also have fun with the five Doom events. The, the five Dooms event up until then. Uh, as I said, I'll explain at the end of the video. I'm going to be doing the five Dooms all at once. Um, because I'm it, kind of like with the big bridge. So we're just going to get all five fights at once. Keep it all in one stream, one video. So yeah, I'll see you then.